Before we get into this next video, if y'all rocking with us, please smash that subscribe button. I mean, really, smash that subscribe button and hit the like button. And leave a comment on the video. Let us know you rocking with us over this way. Turn on that post bell notification so you could get the alerts on any of our future productions, any of our future litters, or anything we got in the works. And any available puppies that we may have, you can reach out and give us a call at 774-633-7879. Definitely give us a call if you're interested. Hey man, it's your boy Robert Santos over here at Santos Family Bullies. Coming back at you with another video. Just going to talk to you guys a little bit about why we added the boys that we did to our camp. As you guys know from our shorts, we got three studs that are active right now. We have Zeus, <clears throat> we have Ace, and we have our boy Kong. Our boy Zeus is a fawn. He's two-time champion, one-time grand champion in his pedigree. His dad was over 147 pounds. Shout out to the product bullies for actually hooking us up with this man. And we had a lot of good things planned for him in his future. I'm gonna drop some pictures in here as I'm talking of Storm and a production that we are planning on having in the near future. Then our boy Ace is a blue Trindle Merrill. He carries the Brindle gene, he carries the Tri gene, and he also carries the, the Merrill genetic pattern, which with all that being said, that speaks for itself. His dad was about 160 pounds. So I saw the Snowstorm Bullies for that production. That man's crazy. Kong. That's an in-house production. He was given to us by our female Lola, <clears throat> who did a great job. She gave us 11 healthy pups. Our boy Kong is a dark chocolate tri. And that boy, he's something different, really thick. Look at the videos. We kept him for the tri pattern and the white down his face. Honestly, just all the girth and just the, the sheer athleticism. He hit all the peaks that we were looking for in our first litter. And I'm excited to see what he can produce. But like I said, all these males are open and ready to work at any time. All healthy, genetically tested and peds are deep. I'm willing to drop the link for the peds so everybody can see for themselves. And again, as you heard in the video, I shouted out where I got my studs from so y'all can check out what they're producing and what they're doing over there. I see that everything's official over here for when these letters drop. You guys can definitely hit us up and make sure you stay in tune with us and really rock with us because we out here really trying to produce some of the best bullies in the world. And at this point, I think we're doing a real good job with the first litter that we have on the ground. I have a couple of lilacs on this earth. I got a couple of chocolates here and there. You know, I got a bunch of fawns. I got people that are ready to work their dogs. And I think we did an all around good job with our first litter. And I can't wait to keep it going. And like I was saying, you watching these videos, man, these are just raw cuts. These ain't edits. We ain't work on these. These weren't scripted. We just walking our dogs through the trails and just giving you some clips so that I could talk to you about it. Again, the studs and the pant and the female, the, the dams that made these boys are nasty. And I will drop pictures throughout the video so you can see the parents of all of my dogs and you can also see my females that I have future projects coming in with. With all that being said, man, I just wanted to give you some insight on why we kept our boys. I definitely want to give you guys some more insight on my females and what I got and why I got into the whole bully game. 
I got this girl Storm. I'm gonna pop her in the video right now. now. But with that being said, she she changed the game for me. I met her, raised her up, and it was just a whole different feel for the dog, for the dog game, just being around dogs and wanting to show them love and be able to train dogs and be able to produce other dogs so you can always have your own dogs around and help other people add key family members because that's what it's all about these dogs are family members at the end of the day they're not just dogs or possessions where everybody can go and be like oh i'm gonna breed now i feel like people really gotta understand their breed and understand their dogs before they go and want to just purchase a dog to work to make money because it ain't about the money it should always be about the dogs first and honestly the people you build a relationship with because the people following us you guys are the reason why we can do what we do and work as hard as we can to produce these dogs and take these videos man and talk to you guys because without you guys we ain't really doing nothing out here so i just wanted to give you guys a little love I should talk back to you guys so you know we here we definitely thank you and are grateful for all the support you guys give us and man it's all love thank you please don't forget to subscribe turn on that post notification share this video with your friends